Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we have one of the most important videos on this channel if you want to move to the Iberian Peninsula, which in my opinion is one of the best places to live in the world in terms of quality of life and cost of living. In this video we're gonna talk about the Spanish Golden Visa. Firstly, we're gonna talk about the requirements for the Spanish Golden Visa and considering the requirements you can then choose whether the Spanish Golden Visa is a good option for you. Then we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of getting the Spanish Golden Visa and then finally we're gonna talk about alternatives to the Spanish Golden Visa there will be two categories of alternatives. First, if you want to move to Spain, but you don't have the amount to invest to get the Spanish Golden Visa. Or also, if you want to live in other countries in Europe, for example, maybe Portugal can be a good option. We're gonna also talk about these alternatives to the Spanish Golden Visa. Before we start with the actual content, I have to say what I have to say for the YouTube algorithm, which is... If you want to travel, move or invest abroad, hit the like button, check our other videos and most importantly, subscribe! Let's start! So, the Spanish Golden Visa, what is it? Actually, the term Golden Visa is not an official term, but it basically means any kind of visa that you get from a country in which you invest money in the country, whether in bonds or real estate or in a local company, and you get a visa and the right to live in the country with a number of privileges that you wouldn't otherwise get if you would just apply for a normal visa or a normal resident permit. In the case of Spain, the Golden Visa is only for non-EU citizens. If you are an EU citizen, just forget about the word golden visa for any country in Europe. You will not need it in any case. But if you are a non-EU citizen and you want to move to Spain or if you just want to spend part of the year in Spain, the Spanish golden visa is an excellent choice to move to the country. So let's start talking about the requirements to get the Spanish Golden Visa. There are a number of requirements which are non-financial. So for example, you need a clean criminal record. That's one of the most important requirements, which is a non-financial requirement. And also you must be a non-EU citizen in order to apply. But the financial requirements are the most important ones and the ones which create an entry barrier to get the Spanish Golden Visa. There are a number of eligible investments if you want to get the Spanish Golden Visa. I'll talk about them but there is one which I consider much better than the other options which is if you invest 500,000 euros in real estate in Spain you can get the golden visa it can be one or various properties they don't have to be in the same city they can be one office and one apartment for example or three apartments or four apartments or one house and two apartments there are no restrictions in this sense as long as you achieve 500,000 euros in real estate investment in spain then there are other options which are more expensive and i i will explain a little bit later why i consider the real estate investment the best option to get a spanish golden visa the first other option is investing 1 million euros into a spanish company it can be a company listed in the Spanish stock exchange for example you don't have to actually open a company or find a company that you know the shareholders you can just park this 1 million euros into a Spanish listed company in the stock exchange that would be enough but you can also find a company in which you want to invest uh, these amount of 1 million euros and it doesn't have to be a listed company in the stock exchange and finally you also have the option of investing 2 million euros in Spanish government bonds which I consider the worst option to get a Spanish golden visa and now let's talk about why I consider the real estate investment option as the best one if you want to get the Spanish Golden Visa. First of all, the amount is much lower. So 500,000 euros, if you compare to the price, the average price of houses in the US, it is not an extremely high amount and you have the right to live in Spain. But if you want to invest 1 million euros into a Spanish company, I believe you will be more exposed to risk if this company goes bankrupt, if it's a listed company, if the stock price decreases in value sharply, you will have problems renewing your Spanish Golden Visa. But if you buy real estate, the amount is lower and you will be not subject to such a high volatility. For example, if you buy a 500,000 euros apartment, after two years, the price of the apartment has to stay the same. You have to keep the apartment in order to renew it. Then, if you don't sell it, you will still have the right to renew your residence permit in Spain based on your Golden Visa. So that's basically the options you have to get the Spanish Golden Visa. The best one, in my opinion, is investing in real estate. 
estate. Now we're going to talk about the pros and cons of getting the Spanish Golden Visa. Let's first talk about the pros of getting the Spanish Golden Visa. The first obvious advantage is that a Spanish Golden Visa will render you eligible to live in Spain. Firstly, you'll get a residence permit to live two years in Spain and then after two years, if you still have the real estate in Spain or if you still have the invested amount required to renew the visa in Spain, you will get a five-year renewal. You can bring your immediate family, you will enjoy a high quality of life and a reasonable cost of living anywhere in Spain. You can renew it staying in Spain a minimum amount of time. You just have to come to Spain once a year and then you will be eligible to renew your Spanish Golden Visa. Another advantage is that you can also work while you are in Spain in any activity without a work permit. So you can run a business or you can get a job if you want. You can work in your real estate company, for example. You will not have to do any formalities to work in any company in Spain. Another advantage is that you can actually use the golden visa and make of it a profitable investment. It is not like in many countries in which you donate a certain amount to get a residence permit or you donate a certain amount to get the citizenship of a given country. Then, finally, the Spanish Golden Visa leads to permanent residency and it leads to citizenship. But there are other requirements you should meet to apply and to get permanent residency and citizenship in Spain. Now we're gonna talk about the cons of getting the Spanish Golden Visa. The first con is huge and quite obvious also. It involves a significant investment that could be otherwise invested in other, more profitable business ideas. Then the second con is, if you stay more than 6 months a year in Spain, you will become a tax resident. Taxes in Spain are very high for any type of income, even for income earned abroad. So if you live in Spain, you have a company in China or in Mexico, all the income you get from this company as a physical person will be taxed in Spain. But you don't have to necessarily spend more than six months per year if you get a Spanish Golden Visa. You can just spend five months per year and then you will not be a Spanish tax resident. Then the path to citizenship is long. It usually takes 10 years to be able to apply for citizenship in Spain. In some cases it might take just two years if you are a citizen of a number of countries which are mostly in Latin America. But if you are a citizen of the US or of India, Canada, Australia, the UK, it will take 10 years for you to to be eligible to apply for citizenship in Spain. And the last con is not very relevant because since you will do this investment probably you want to spend some time per year in Spain. You have to visit Spain at least once a year to keep the Spanish Golden Visa active. If you don't come back to Spain once a year you will lose the privileges of the Spanish Golden Visa. And now finally I'm gonna talk about alternatives to the Spanish Golden Visa. There are two categories of alternatives. The first one is you want to live in Spain but you don't want to invest a substantial amount of money in the country and the second is you are still considering countries other than Spain to move. The first case is you really want to live in Spain but either you don't have the amount to invest in the golden visa or you consider this type of investment not the best one which I may agree because it won't be hard to find better investments for this amount of money than the ones available to get a Spanish Golden Visa. So the options to live in Spain if you don't want to get a Spanish Golden Visa and you are a non-EU citizen, which I consider good options are the first one is the non-lucrative residence in Spain. If you have an income from abroad, let's say it can be dividends from stocks, rental income, or if you are a shareholder of a company from abroad and this company is one of your substantial sources of income, you can apply for the non-lucrative residence permit in Spain. The main advantage here is you will not have to make a substantial investment in Spain, but you already need to have a substantial income to be able to live in Spain. And also this option is for those which are considering actually living most of the time in Spain. It doesn't make any sense to apply for this type of visa and then just spend three months per year in Spain. So these are the main differences. Another option is especially for those which are planning to work in Spain. You can get a visa and then a residence permit if you want to work as a self-employed person in Spain. For example, you are a software developer, you already have your clients and you think you can live in Spain, you can show that your business plan is viable, you can show that there is a demand for your type of business, you can apply to become a self-employed person in Spain, but then you have to pay Spanish taxes which are pretty hefty. And then finally we are getting close to the last option you may want to consider which is countries other than Spain. One of the most popular options is actually Portugal right next to Spain. You have all the similar types of visa and residence permits that Spain has. For example, there's the golden visa. You can invest in real estate in Portugal. There's also a visa for those which are not willing to work in the country. 
and also for those which are willing to become self-employed persons. But the main difference between Portugal and Spain is that the requirements are much lower. So for example in Spain if you need to show a certain amount of income from rentals or dividends in Portugal this amount is much lower. Then there are other countries if you are an extremely wealthy person and you don't want to pay taxes in Spain you may want to consider Andorra which is right next to Spain on the Pyrenees but the tax rates are negligible when compared to those of Spain. And then there are the countries which I prefer which are mostly in Central and Eastern Europe and also in Latin America where the cost of living is lower, the requirements are also lower but the quality of life in some aspects is lower also than Spain. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions or any suggestions please contact me using the comment section below check our other videos, check the website and the links in the description and if you want to travel, move or invest abroad, hit the like button and most importantly, subscribe! See you next time!